for you guys today. I'm just uh, getting packed up here. Uh, we're going down to uh, Quion, Quebec, which is uh, another real small town. We're going to uh, tune my buddy's uh, Beckstein piano. Uh, I've got another video of this particular piano. It's a fairly interesting piano, fairly interesting backstory. I, I'll put a link in the um, description there. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go do that. Uh, first is a good hour and a half drive and then Probably hang out there for a bit. Then I'm going to Ottawa and we're going to have a Rage Against the Machine practice because uh, I'm in a Rage Against the Machine tribute band. So we're going to do that. After that, we are going to go clean a business called Web Marketers. But uh, I like cleaning and um, it's kind of a new thing for me. You know, I'm no longer really playing music, well, at all. So. Uh, Got to do something for money, right? Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, and uh, I enjoy it. It's, uh, it's not too bad. Um, so I'm going to get packed up for, for that, and let's hit the road. Got to get my base gear. Take all my Rage Against the Machine stuff. Yeah, let's see. Evil Empire. Evil Empire. Second Rage album. <clears throat> Today we're doing Calm Like a Bomb. It's off uh, this uh, Battle of Los Angeles. I think we're doing People of the Sun off Evil Empire. And uh, what what else? Uh, we'll, we'll take take this just for the car ride just and um, take this for sure and then there's also another uh a, a lesser known rage tune that we're doing it's called uh darkness of greed i'm gonna try this out for a pedal a pedal case here found this in the garbage it's a uh so it says micro test uh next scan or some kind of a uh, piece of electronic test equipment i found this in the garbage so and it looked to me like a perfect pedal um, pedal case. So we'll see how this works. So hopefully I can fit my uh, Rage Against the Machine stuff in here. That's uh, one of the good things about the pandemic is just, you know, uh, you know, this is Rage Against the Machine, you know, uh, tribute band. Like, that's not something that I would ever have you know time to do during my busy gig schedule during the regular I want to say regular season this is something I picked up a while ago for a guitar um, this is a Morley power wah and volume you know, I'm not I'm not into pedals. Like I I don't uh, I've never really been a pedal guy. But you know, obviously for this project, you gotta have have some effects. Quite a this is a really crazy wah pedal. I've never really played a, a wah pedal quite like that. Just the it's, it's really wild. It's really unwieldy. It's really sensitive. Like it it's 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 hard to describe. It's not. It's not uh, a, it's pretty, it's not mild, it's wild, is the way I'd describe it. I've got some really crazy equipment that I should make videos about. Uh, the overdrive that I'm going to be using for this <clears throat> band is um, Garnet Herzog. Garnet is a famous Canadian amplifier manufacturer. And uh, they did all kinds of cool stuff in the in the 70s. Made all kinds of cool equipment, iconic equipment. And I've actually got a book uh, about uh, Garnet amplifiers right here, of which I will uh, definitely gonna do a video on this and my Garnet Herzog that I have downstairs because. That's what I use with uh, 
my band, uh, Radmore. I actually use it for bass. It was a guitar distortion, well, a, a preamplifier, kind of a distortion effect that was made in the 70s and fam made famous, uh, popularized by uh, Randy Bachman, uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive in the song American Woman. <clears throat> That works pretty good. Don't mind that at all. This amp here is great. This Yorkville, that's a great Canadian company. Yorkville. Make great things. I have all kinds of Yorkville equipment. This bass amp is a little tiny bass amp like that. You'd be surprised. That is a uh, Yorkville small block 112 they make a 1 by 15 version and they also make a 10 version what a uh, packs a lot of punch I play some huge shows with that tiny little tiny little amp there uh, oh this all this stuff's Yorkville too I've got I got two sets of, of the P, PS 12 P's this is a hell of a sub I've got Another York Yorkville um, one by fifteen, I think, sub downstairs. Of course, you know you might think I have a lot of gear, but I need all this stuff when I'm uh, doing big shows. And usually, my regular, yeah, here's my other sub right here. This Yorkville, I th don't know what the model number of that is, but. Yeah, when I'm playing full time, I'm I'm, I'm using because um, I also do uh, sound and lighting for for big concerts and weddings and special events and all that. I've got a bit of a live sound company. It's called uh, Righteous Vibes Productions. As a matter of fact, a little logo for my youtube channel here is that's the logo for my sound and lighting company as well so a little bit of a i always loved that logo I had a friend make that logo a long time ago and it was just um you know it's just uh, really you know i use it for everything <laughs> My sound company is called Righteous Vibes Productions. And these went up there. The plan, I was kind of just getting going as the pandemic hit there and kind of screwed up the plans for gotta get a new case here. These cases. Not in great shape. Okay. The only thing I need now is a lunch. Get, let's try using one of these bags here today. Usually toss some brewskis in here and we're going to Ottawa, so we're going to get some water. I don't like drinking the water here. On the menu today, we've got chicken and rice because I'm on a diet now. I'm trying to uh, lose weight or gain gain muscle or however you want to say it. It's just uh, used to be. I used to be really in shape. And then, of course, got the old got the old relationship body going right now which is it's just what happens when you are in a serious relationship yeah you just gotta gotta keep the intensity level high though and that's something that uh you know you gotta gotta keep on your toes here I mean Jayla, I've been together for quite some time and very, uh, 
very happy in this uh, relationship. We're getting along pretty good. And, but it's easy to get complacent and comfortable. And uh, I'm trying to stay a little bit uncomfortable, you know. Just to keep the edge. Keep the keep the keep the passion happening. It's a weird it's a weird like human conundrum. So got some water, I got my base, got some food. base got my amp got my pedals and all that kind of stuff I'm gonna fill these water things I've got I've got that maybe no look at there I'll just fill those and uh, food I'll need my piano gear I'm gonna take my uh yeah I'll wear my jean jacket today got my got my amp pig got my amp pig patches Oh, I lost one. Jeez, I lost one. Okay, what the hell? Lost one of my patches. What? How did that happen? That's weird. Oh no, it's still there. I need a coffee. Should put some air in that tire. Yeah, that tire keeps tire keeps uh, losing air. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Food. I don't know if that's enough food for the day. <laughs> Hope so. Daddy hasn't been making too. I'm actually pretty bad at guitar and bass and singing, but for whatever reason, I've managed to make a living out of playing music for 15 years. But I've learned how to entertain people. Definitely not. Definitely not the most talented guy in the in the group, that's for sure. I I like working with other people. I get along with all the other musicians in town and we're all buddies. As I was saying, we're in Otter Lake right now. Still got a payphone. I wonder if this still works. What the heck? What the Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I love the fact that uh, there's actually still a payphone in, in, Kaz in Kazabajwa too. <laughs> I should actually try using that, see if it actually works. Car's just filthy. Car's just a filthy mess. Yeah, it's a nice little town, this Otter Lake. All right, we're back on our way here. Me and Jayla come down here uh, in the summertime, go swimming. There's just so many places to swim. It's such a good life up here. Just coming into Shawville right now. It's a ni another nice little little town. That takes talent right there. Look at that, right on the button. Beauty. Man. Wow. Beautiful job. That's that's talent. 
Okay, so we're coming into Creon. Clarendon. Clarendon is the main main drag in Quion. Here we are. Wow, it's looking nice.
Uh, that was a pretty fun that was a pretty fun session right there I actually I actually tuning the piano took like 45 minutes not long at all I think I was there at 1130 maybe it's now five um, we hung out for quite a while and uh, we were just talking the whole time He's got some really cool ideas um, of what he wants to do with his space there. So we're just talking about his idea of turning his church into a uh, online music venue, which is a great idea, incredible idea. And um, so anyways, he was wanting to know if I wanted to help out with that. So uh, of course, you know, I'm really looking for projects right now, looking for stuff to work on. And I'm more than happy to get, uh, get involved in that. there but uh, I'm really tired and and uh, gotta go clean this business so this is my first time cleaning without Jayla and this is also a really bad part of town so I'm definitely not not leaving my base in the, in the car here
Oh no. What's going on there? Oh, fuck. Shit. What's going on there? I set off the alarm. Uh, yeah, uh, my name's Scott Reeves. I'm the, uh, I'm the actually, I'm the cleaner. Okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I, like, I usually clean this, uh, business with my, with my girlfriend, but, um, <clears throat> she's out of town, so this is my first time doing it by myself, so, um, I, she said that she didn't receive any, uh, instructions from, uh, the owners of the business, so, I just came expecting to clean the business, but I'm not even sure. Like I just got here and the alarm went off, so I'm I'm not even sure if the guys are using the office right now. Okay, uh, do you have the code to this? Uh, I don't. No. Okay. It's so my girlfriend's cleaning business, and like I just help her out with her business, so um, like I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if uh, Kyle Kyle would know that I help her out with this, so. <clears throat> Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I feel really, really uncomfortable right now. Okay, so there's just four police officers here. Out of here, man. Jesus. That sucked. That sucked. Get the fuck out of here. So, four police officers came. 